What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about decibels. And uh, in order to make this uh, tutorial shorter, um, we're going to be very focused on, on decibels only. The reason why I want to talk about decibels is because I want to bring you guys some other tutorials about uh, more advanced topics like compression. But you really can't talk about compression unless you understand what, what decibels are. So I think that's an important uh, building block that we need to talk about. I can relate that building block similar to the way I can relate music theory building blocks. For example, um, I've done several tutorials regarding music theory, but the first one I did was on notes, so you can understand what notes are. Uh, from there, I went to one about scales, so that you can understand how scales are made up of notes. So obviously, if you didn't know what notes were, scales was going to be uh, a bit more challenging. From scales I went to chords because chords are built up of notes within a scale. So you can see there's a logical progression there. And speaking of progression, from chords we went to chord progressions. In other words, chords that you string together in a progression and then using that to make a, a song or make a bass for your song or a direction for your song. But anyway, the point is, if you didn't learn about notes, you couldn't really fully understand prog chord progressions because notes is a, is a building block of all that came after it in that se series of tutorials that I made. And so similarly, um, if you don't understand decibels, you're probably not going to understand compression very well either. So in this tutorial, we're going to focus on decibels. Now, decibels are a unit of measurement, very much the way an inch or a foot is a, a, a unit of measurement. In this case, we're not measuring distance or altitude or, or anything. We're, we're, we're measuring something called signal amplitude. And that's more of a scientific way of saying the overall uh, volume level of a particular sound. Now on the screen, we're looking at a waveform. And this waveform represents um, audio that uh, you can see at, at various points goes higher or spreads out further from the middle, from that center line that goes across. You can see at, at some points it's spread out a little bit, at some points it's spread out a lot. And that's the amplitude. So if I put my mouse here in the center point, you can see, and, and by center point I'm talking horizontally from, from right to left. If I put my mouse in the center point uh, and we look at our display over there, it says negative INF dB, which means it's negative, uh, basically infinitely negative dB, which means silence. There's no sound at that point on the scale. Uh, as I move my mouse outwards from that point, in this case I'm going to be moving it down, you can see the numbers begin to increase. Now they're still negative, but they're getting closer to our 0 0.00 dB value. As I finally reach the uh, edge of the display, uh, you can see it reaches 0 0.00 dB, and that's the maximum sound that the computer can produce. And if we do that in the other direction, it works uh, basically the same way, where the middle is uh, infinite dB, negative inf infinite dB, and we can go outwards to the top, which it be, again represents 0, 0.00 dB. Now, that's basically the reference point uh, for the uh, maximum level or the full scale. Uh, sometimes it's referred to as DBFS for, for full scale, uh, that the, uh, the computer or that the audio can be output as from the computer. Now, obviously, you can make it loud on the computer and then put it through some speakers and turn it up even more, and that's not really quite what we're talking about. We're talking about when we go to render this thing somehow, uh, that's the maximum loudness it can render it as. So, um, and why is that important? And uh, the reason is 
because anything that goes above that level, above zero dB, um, gets chopped off or clipped. It's called clipping. And clipping is just like, think of a clipper that chops it off. So we have a very sharp defined peak here. And then you can see that it slowly kind of starts fading down closer to the center point, center line, okay? Almost in a curve. That's basically like a, a volume envelope. But its its shape is that of a curve. And it's got a very sharp point there, okay? Now I'm going to amplify this again. And you'll see that we lose that. We can see the curve a little bit here, but for the most part, we don't have that peak down there anymore. It's all chopped off. If we could extend this thing in either, in either direction beyond zero, we could recover that peak and then see it flowing back down. But because the computer can only produce sound up to zero, um, it clips it. It just chops it off. Now, the re end result of that is that the sound sounds different. It sounds, in many cases, it sounds worse. It can be used for a specific effect, uh, but, you know, when you're talking about, like, mastering a song, you don't want your, uh, your song being clipped all throughout. So I'm going to undo that again. Um, and that's what, uh, and basically that's what dB is. That's all it is. It's just a unit of measurement. And again, you know, when you're talking about uh, a waveform data, the maximum is going to be at zero. We're talking about uh, full scale now. The maximum is zero. That's the maximum that a computer can make as far as the loudness. And uh, the minimum is negative INF, which means complete silence. Okay? And that's decibels. So once you think you have a grasp on decibels, you'll be able to look at things like a compressor which has settings for dec decibels and uh, other um, audio engineering tools and you'll kind of understand what that's representing. And hopefully you've gotten something out of this tutorial. We will have a compression tutorial coming up in the near future um, so you can get some good information on, on what that's about. That'll do it for this one. Come on by warbeats.com see what we have going on. There's a video here on, on the YouTube site uh, that talks about what, what we have there in case you're um, interested. And uh, come take advantage of this of the free resources we have for you at Warbeats. Um, can't go wrong for the, for the price, right? So anyway, this is NFX saying I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.